Hi guys, I'm Owen from Square Balloon and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the 7 to 1 um, CSS um, structure, I guess you call it, um, or methodology. Uh, the one thing that people in my team find kind of confusing is what is the difference between a layout and a component and why is something a layout and why is something a component. Um, so I'll show you an example really. Um, so for example, this section here. Uh, it's in its own section. It's got a different color background, which is easy to tell it's in its own section. I inspect the element just to show you it. So it's in a section called G Reviews, and it's got a container which makes it narrower, and then a grid which is controlling the flex box, a uh, row basically, uh, and then a block which is controlling the flex box column, which is 100% in this case, and then some content which is controlling the padding, and then uh, platform content which is just because it's in the CMS and a module and then uh, some of the internal detail like the images and the links or whatever. Um, I would personally see this as a uh, component um, but my guys are like well it could just be stuck in a layout file what's the difference how do we know whether to stick it in a component or a layout file and at, at the end of the day it doesn't really matter that much um, if you think of it in a way of it just works either way but both ways would work um, but what does make a difference is maintainability. So if you're using it in a, a team of multiple people, how do I know where he's put it and how does he know where I've put it? Well, if we come back to it in a year's time, how the hell do we know what's going on unless we have some structure and some rules and follow some processes? So um, it's really hard to explain to the guys why I always think of most things as components and some things as not components. So the um, reason that I would think of this as a component um, because normally what I say to the guys is if it's repeatable it's a component so then I say to them and this is where it gets a bit confusing so for example this contact form um, it doesn't repeat anywhere on this page it's only on this and on another page it probably doesn't have the green background on it and whatever so they would say well it's not really repeated actually we use it in a completely different way in the rest of the site so it's actually possibly a different component you would think of it as or maybe a component that's been modified if you know about modifiers in CSS and um, BOM and all that stuff um, but then I say to them oh well this button is a component actually because buttons are used throughout the site so then it's like a component within a component and that gets a bit confusing um, but what I would say if we go back to this example the reason this is a component is because um, if, even though it's only used in this place on this website if you think about it and you was to say could this be used somewhere else in say we want it in a section down the bottom clients change the parameters says I want it in a section at the bottom um, and so you could either be saying copy it there or just move it from there to there doesn't matter the point is if because it's tied to this particular in this case it's tied to this section so they've done all the styling within this uh, G review section and it's in the layout file and what I would say in that layout file should be this green background should be in the layout file because it's only for that section and also potentially um, maybe it's like the margin and padding stuff here could be in that section even though that is uh, attached to G content so that is in multiple sections but really the background color and therefore the foreground color could be in that layout file and I probably would only put that in that layout file because that's the only thing that's associated only with that layout. The, the rest of it could be only associated with that layout in terms of the design we've created is only in one place but if the customer ever asked to move it into a different layout then everything's attached to this ID and it no longer has the ID all of the CSS just fails because it can't select it anymore because it's not got the identifier. Um, so in that case I'd use it as a component and because I'm using it as a component I wouldn't use an ID to select it I would use a class because it could be reused or it could be used in a different position or multiple times. So I hope that goes some way to explaining how I think about things as components. The general rule is if it's reused anywhere you should probably call it a component. Uh, I'll give you another example actually of something that's been reused. Um, so look at this one. So we've got this, get a free quote today and it is reused at the bottom here. It looks completely different. It actually has another button in it that it doesn't have up here but it's still a component and the reason that is still a component is because a it's reused and b most of the styling is the same we added an extra button but really all we did was add some html 
with the class of button. So um, we didn't actually change the styling of the buttons or the background or the text or anything. That that was uniform throughout. Even though it's a much wider button, that is not controlled by any width that we've added in the CSS. It's just controlled by its parent container. So again, although it looks different slightly because of the width, it's still a component. Um, so I hope that explains it. Why you would use what you'd use as a component, what you'd use as a layout. And what you'll find is if you think of things as components most of the time you'll be right. And layouts, obviously, most of the time for sections, you couldn't com put that in a component. I would advise you not to put things like the sweeping background colour in a component because you could have it a different background colour on every page. So then in that case I would possibly put that in the layout files. So we might split the colour background sometimes, stuff like that. Uh, and of course the modifiers, um, if you don't know, normally you might just add, I think has it got a modifier on it or not? Yeah, so this one has got CTA after article. So it's got the normal class, free quote CTA, and it's got another class, CTA after article. So that would be the modifier is the second class. And in doing that second class, we have the ability to uh, style this one slightly differently if we wanted to. Um, so that in that case, I would have this in one component and I would have this modifier in the same component file potentially if we're just doing like buttons uh, I could show you the buttons file I guess would be the easiest one to explain so we've got buttons and we've got hover but we've also got green and we've also got dark green they're all still buttons so I would keep this all in one component file uh, the fact that there's a green modifier by adding the class green or adding green double hyphen dark that's a modifier as well I would still see that as um, one component, although various styles inside it. So that's when you start thinking about modifiers in it. In this case, um, because it, it could be quite different, you might have your own CSS file for that, but it's up to you guys how you do that. This tutorial really, sorry for the rambling, um, was to decide, describe the difference between what you should put in your layouts part and what you should put in your components part. So layouts, generally I would control sections or something like that with I know there are people who think along the lines of controlling the uh, navigation through that. Navigation is always quite a lot more complicated. It's, although it's reused through every single page, it's not really often used in um, like different sections on a page. It's normally always in the same place. If you have different menus, we have got another menu down the bottom here, and in fact one here as well. Those I would probably make as components. Um, but this main one, I could still use it as a component to be fair. Um, but you might, some people might put the logo and the navigation into one layout. I probably would still use them both as components if I'm completely honest with you. So probably the only thing I would use the layouts bit for would be maybe making a grid for a section and definitely any background colours for a section. So I hope that helps. Um, if you do things differently I'd love to hear why. This is not, I am not the authoritative voice on this. This is just a way of me explaining it to uh, my team really. But hopefully we can have a debate about this and see how you do things and why you do things and why you would argue with the way I do things and what you do differently and why. Uh, I'd love to hear it because maybe we'll improve our processes that way too. Thanks for watching.